We now know that not only does the Tesla Model 3 Highland performance, or you might call it ludicrous, as Tesla has badged them on the back, we know that they have an insane amount of power. The rear motor has been improved. Its power has been improved by more than 100 horsepower. Tesla has spent months working on recalibrating and changing the suspension to handle all the extra power, but they've also made some new changes that, well, we only just found out about. Tesla has Chinese-made Model 3 ludicrous vehicles in America. Don't know why they're in America, but they're in America, and they show some upgrades that we hadn't seen before, which are kind of interesting. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Personally, for me, I was very surprised when Top Gear, who had been criticizing electric cars, Jeremy Clarkson, what he said about EVs, wanted they were a joke or something, they tested the Model 3 performance. This was years ago against the BMW M2. They said that electric cars... They can go fast in a straight line, but they can't turn. They can't go around a track. It's it's just can't be done. Now, uh, a lot of internal combustion engine fans still believe this absolute garbage. So anyway, Top Gear, they thought, we'll prove it to the world. We'll prove that electric cars can't go around a track. They took it to their performance track. They raced it against the BMW M2, and it slaughtered the M2. Now, on a track that only takes just under a minute to go around, the M3 was uh, two and a half seconds slower than the Tesla, than the Tesla Model 3 performance. So the, sorry, I should say the M2, which is meant to be a, a serious track performance weapon, well, it was sort of shown, it was shown that EVs are the future. Now that Model 3 will be nowhere near as quick as this one. These performance upgrades, are serious when talking a huge power increase. Normally when you do things like this, normally when you increase power by this much, you need to add more cylinders, you need to add more turbos, you need to you know, turn up the, the weak, the boost pressure. Often cars are heavier. Yeah, the new Model 3 Ludicrous is gonna be a lot more powerful, but it has one other big upgrade and it's not its carbon dash. Yes, it does have a carbon dash. Personally for me, I couldn't care less about that. It has proper seats. So finally, a Tesla performance vehicle has some serious seats for going seriously fast around corners. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I try and go fast around corners in my non-performance car, I slide across the seat. It's sort of like, you know, you're sliding around. Now, on a track, uh, yeah, the, the Model 3 performance, this was its big Achilles heel, not having proper seats that you could actually drive fast in. I mean, you could still drive fast, but there's a big difference between proper sports buckets. And that is one thing you can see in these images of this Chinese EV. Yeah, I know I'm saying that, but it is made in China. Clearly, I can tell you why in a minute, how we know it's made in China. But anyway, that's one big upgrade. Now, I am intrigued, guys, by the fact that Tesla has now revealed, we, we now know almost everything, right? We know this Tesla has massively improved suspension, uh, NVH levels. We know it's got a huge increase in power. We know it's got diffusers. We know it's got bucket seats, carbon fiber dash. No, no, not that you should care about that. But this is gonna be a huge improvement in a number of ways. But the other thing that I'm just intrigued here is production has already begun, it's already happened in China. I mean, this vehicle is taking, it's gonna take you a long time to send a car it takes a while to send it from China to America. You're going to go through customs, you're going to get on that slow ship. So I think Tesla's been producing these Model 3 ludicrous vehicles in China for a while now. I think um, it's really interesting to see that maybe we'll be able to buy them within the next month. That's what I predict. Now, you can see there's also some other aspects here. There's new aero wheels, which are 19-inch wheels. Good decision, Tesla, 19 inch wheels. That's really a positive. We don't want huge wheels, they're not an advantage. People, car manufacturers putting on these 22 inch wheels, ridiculous, it does nothing for your performance, just reduces range. Now we know this is a Chinese made vehicle because of the VIN. The VIN has the word C in it, the letter C, rather than the letter F. If it has the letter F, then it means Fremont. If it has the letter C, it means China. But either way, guys, um, I'm kind of getting excited for this car. I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, performance cars, supercars. 
Supercars of most people, 99, let's be frank, 99% of the population, they're never going to own a supercar. You dream about it, but you never buy one. Even if you've got the money, you can't justify spending. You just think it's crazy. But this is going to have supercar performance. I stand by that claim. Thanks for watching.